Ah, hello, internet. This is the root. Let's say YouTube's enhancements. Let's say something. They've actually removed the uh, speed up and slow down, you know, the chipmunk, the uh, super slow mo. They've removed that function. I actually used it quite often in order to, you know, time lapse a video physically. So I could, uh, not have to basically, uh, you know, spend time with my editor to do that, which removes all audio. And you know how much of a pain in the ass that is. <coughs> it is a pain. And then I gotta compose my own music to put into the video. That's a bit of work. Anyways, I don't know why they removed that function. Uh, kind of silly. They should have kept it. But then again, Google owns and runs it. So, nothing that us creative content providers can uh, do about it. At least they allowed the blurring feature to, uh, they actually kept that. Thankfully, they took it out and they put it back. Who knows when they're going to put the enhancements to uh, brighten up, oversaturate, or desaturate, or over contrast, decontrast. You know what I'm talking about. And the Tinder hue adjustments again. Hopefully they put it back. Or maybe they reintroduce a online video editor. Which I remember how useful and sometimes useless it was. It never adapted to videos beyond 15 minutes. No matter if you got verified or not uh, it's a bit of a disappointment just to be all honest and excuse the low poor resolution and I'll fuck all bothery about that I'm using a cheap keychain webcam because my other one is not hooked up to the computer and I'm too lazy to do it However, than that, with cool special grainy effects, I'm able to make it look neat. And the focus ring, I had to adjust a few times because this camera was actually used for a few macro shots or close-ups. And I forgot to adjust it before doing this video and I had to start over because it was blurry as fuck. Anyways... I hope Google Tube brings back the other features, the time lapse feature, of course, the speeding up or slowing down of a video. Because who doesn't want a person screaming to sound like a pol to sound like a bear, or a man sounding like a woman, or a woman sounding like a chipmunk or, or a kid or whatever, you know? Who doesn't want those features? Because uh, just about everyone wants them. And not all high-speed cameras actually record audio. That's another thing that uh, mine doesn't. And you can't get the point of someone yelling or something smashing, something popping, catching fire, blowing up, whatever, you know. You can't get the audio, and that sucks. And I'd have to have a second source to record it and then, you know, lower the speed and scale it down just to that part. And not to mention, I hate the time stretching effect of the audio. It just sucks. Now that there's a perfect in that regard, and I'd have to use Audacity to do that. Well, you can thank Google for taking away that feature. That's what it is about anyway. So, ah, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, I'm not gonna bother re-uploading that, uh, Humber River Regional Trail uh, video I recorded and uploaded. That was earlier and just after the CNE in September when it got real cold. And windy. So, that was supposed to be speeded up to be about two and a half minutes, but apparently the feature is lost and I forgot to actually do it in my editor. Anyways, you can also adjust it in the bottom row of the gear icon and you can select the speed. So... If you can't, if you don't have that option in the YouTube application or the desktop site, 
forget the mobile sites, you don't have that option, period, then, uh, update the application, you'll probably get it, or on desktop, you could probably do it anyway. HTML5 has to be supported, though, flash, not supported, won't work, doesn't even have the option. That's what you get for being obsolete. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching, thank you very much, Google, and, uh, Feel free to subscribe for more videos. Cheers.